Hello, what's up, good people? Once again, welcome to Pass Medicine. So today we are going to look at gout and dietis. So we are going to start with definition of gout and dietis. We are also going to start with risk factors of gout and dietis, causes of gout and dietis, signs and symptoms of gout and dietis, and also we are going to look at the investigation of gout and dietis, the radiographic images of gout and dietis, and management of gout and dietis. So make sure that you have liked this video, you have subscribed, comment, and also ask questions at the comment sections. Also share out to your friends. So let's start with gouty. What is gouty and dietis? Gouty and dietis is defined as a form of inflammatory antitis that is characterized by deposition of uric acid in joint which leads to pain, swelling and stiffness at the joint. Now let's look at the risk factors of gouty antitis. Number one, we have dietary choices. High intake of purine rich foods, it can also lead to increased risk of gouty antitis. Number two, you have genetic factor. When one member of family had a history of gouty antitis, it can also be a risk. And also number three, we have medical condition, conditions like obesity, hypertension, and we have also kidney diseases. Number three risk, we have medication when one takes certain drugs it can also lead to increased risk of uric acid in the body number four we have uh age and gender age and gender it's more common in men than female and it occurs often occurs in people of age of over 30 years and above now let's look at the causes of gouty arthritis the cause number one we have hypoglycemia which means elevated uric acid in the blood number two you have dietary factors dietary factors uh, is consuming purine rich foods like alcohol and sugary foods and number three we have genetic factors inheritance factors when one member of family had a history of gout and diabetes can also be a cause of gout and diabetes in a person number Four, we have uh, dehydration, insufficient fluid intake. It can also contribute to uric acid in the body. And number five, we have impaired extrusion. Kidney dysfunction, it can also lead to reduced uric acid elimination. Now, let's look at the signs and symptoms of gout arthritis or the clinical features of gout arthritis. So number one, we have a severe joint Pain. It usually occurs in big toes, but it can also involve other joints like angle joint or the knee joint. Number two, we have swelling and redness at the affected site. Number three, we have limited range of motion, whereby there is difficulty in moving the affected joint. Number four, we have toffee formation, whereby there is hard deposit of uric acid crystals under the skin. Radiographic features. So in radiographic features, you have two stages. That is early stage and later stage. In early stage, X-ray may appear normal during acute attack, while in later stage, chronic gout may show erosion of bone surfaces and soft tissue masses. Now in investigation, we are going to look at synovial fluid analysis, blood tests, and imaging. In synovial fluid analysis, we will obtain fluid in the affected joint where we will test uh, uric acid crystals and in blood tests, we will measure serum uric acid levels, but it may not rule out the gout. And in imaging, ultrasound may help us visualize the toffee formation and joint changes. Now, let's look at the management of gouty arthritis. We have two management, that is acute management and chronic management. So here we have drugs like NSAIDs, corticosteroid, and colchicine. So in NSAID, NSAID in full is non-steroidal and inflammatory drugs. E.g. we have ibuprofen, it helps in pain relief, and in colchicine it helps to relieve inflammation. 
and in corticosteroid is prescribed if NSAID is contraindicated. So in chronic management, we have urate lowering therapy. We have drugs like allopurinol. It helps in lowering acid, uric acid levels. And also we have lifestyle modification like uh, weight loss, uh, dietary changes, and also adequate hydration. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure that you have subscribed, like, and also comment, ask questions at the comment section, and also suggest the next topic that we should discuss.